Back in the good old days, I paid a nickel for a soda pop and all these things, and now it's $3. So if you just hold your money, every year it's worth 3% less. So all y'all that say, you know what, I'm just going to get a good job and save for 40 years, right? Well, every time you're saving, your money's actually eroding underneath you without you knowing it. Wow. The whole year is stuffing the money in the mattress? That doesn't work. Okay? You lose 3% every year. So what is the smartest thing you could be doing right now? Okay? Let me show you this. If you were to invest $200, how long would it take you to turn it into $1,000? An investment of $200 to turn it into $1,000, that's a five times return rate. In the stock market, that's a cool 17 years. Okay. Real estate, 25 years. Bonds, that's 41 years. Certificate of deposit, that's 55 years. And cash will never increase in value. It decreases. Okay. So next time one of your smart friend says, oh, you're doing that noni thing, right? You say, yes, I'm doing that noni thing. <laughs> what are you doing? Right? Because chances are, they probably don't, like I said, the average American's not saving. They're probably investing in a 401k that's lost money over the last 10 years. And they probably don't have any of these anyway. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like I said, uh, I think I think Valencia said it best. The, it, it, ironically, lots of takes, we type advantial, uh, financial advice for people who are worse off financially than us. It's like taking weight loss advice from a very big fat dude. Right? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to know how to get I want to get I want to get my financial advice for someone who's been there and done that. Not that, not only that, but many times when you talk to some financial advisors, they haven't been there and done that. They're charging you a fee to, to give you financial advice and they don't know how to get there. The well. people that do know how to get there don't want to share it with you because they don't want competition. Uh -huh. Here we have something unique where you have people that have made millions of dollars sitting shoulder to shoulder teaching you exactly how they did it. And lots of times we're closed minded to that and we think, no, nah, I'm working a good job. <laughs> well, if you haven't noticed lately, those good jobs don't have great outcomes. I don't think there is such a thing as a good job anymore. All right. All right. Uh, tax advantages. Just so you know, when you play this investment game, you're taxed twice. Double taxation. Okay. Wow. You're taxed when you earn the money, right? You have income tax that comes out. And then some of us wish we had this problem. It's called capital gains tax, right? You're taxed on the increase that you make. So if I go back here. 17 years to turn 200 into 1,000, less tax and fees, right? That's that disclaimer they always put there because this probably doubles that number, okay? That's just to put it in perspective. If that does not seem like an option to you, and I know I've been kind of negative on investing, if you have a lot of money, it's a great option. But if you have millions of dollars, uh, besides John and Carrie and some of these other guys, you're probably not sitting here in this room, right? Uh, an RV and... and Investing is great when you can play the volume game, but if you don't have large upfront capital, it's very limiting because there's